Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of the FM22 save here on Chesno Plays with Cambridge United. In the last one, we made some signings and today we hope to make some more. We've maybe got some outgoings, we've certainly got some incomings. We're hoping to have a couple more decided today as well, but the squad is building nicely. We should start the league season today as well, I would imagine. So there's going to be quite a lot going on. Make sure you drop the video a like if you enjoy. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this Cheslo Plays channel so you don't miss out on any more content from the streams, whether it be this, whether it be Formula One or anything else that's to be coming over the next few months and years, hopefully. But for now, I'm going to divert my attention to the Twitch chat. If you want to watch these live and see all the behind the scenes, then there is a link in the description down below to the Twitch channel, where, of course, you can come across and follow and you'll be able to watch everything as it unfolds in real time. Or if you just want to watch the full VODs, uh, after the stream is finished, rather than just the edited highlights, then you're more than welcome to. But for now, I'm going to concentrate on continuing and hopefully adding to the squad. Andy Carroll's just moved to West Brom in real life, has he? He was at, he was at Reading, wasn't he? There were rumours that um, someone else was interested in. No, Anthony Ford! He went to Fleetwood instead! That's really frustrating because he looked like he genuinely had me excited, Anthony Ford. Uh, right. Um, that sets us back a bit. Although no, he does say he can play left and right mid. Well, then surely I go for Danny Rowe. The experience. He had a good season in League One last year with um. With but. Uh, Burton. That's that just makes sense, doesn't it? Danny Rowe on a free. <laughs> Beans with the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the gang, dude. Shella Tracy was my starting right-sided player last year. He's got the great physicals, but technically and mentally, he's just not at it. But Danny Danny Rowe looks really accomplished. Obviously has. Experience at a decent level and obviously had a decent season last year as well. But then if there's the opportunity to someone someone that's young but is also talented, then maybe I go for the youth rather than the experience to try and build a longer term project. We've sold oh wow, we've sold nearly two thousand season tickets. The expectation was that we'd sell seventeen hundred, but to have sold one thousand nine hundred and thirty six is actually pretty good. He's not he's not he's not significantly better than Shiloh Tracy. Oh. So first game of the new competitive season away from home at Portman Road in the Carabao Cup. They've got the giant that is Tomash Holy in goal. Actually, last season in real life came on an emergency loan to Cambridge for a game or two to play for us. Uh, they've got El Mazzuni. You remember him from uh, our FM journey last year. Connor Chaplin up top is a very capable player. I mean, they, they got over 100 points in the league last season. In our league and won the title. So we know exactly what to expect from Ipswich. And that is probably a battering. That's a lovely through ball. He's got to finish this, surely. There you go. 1-0 Ipswich. Armando Dobra. Played through by Lee Evans, not the comedian. We expected this, though. They're a side that scored over 100 points, as we say, in our division last year. Can't recall off the top of my head what the results were against Ipswich last season, but I'm pretty sure we lost both. Can't remember what the exact results were. Nor would we expect to uh, get anything from this one either. It might be nice to have had a little bit more to have a little bit more possession and. Um, to actually uh, be a bit more creative, but so far, not the gra not the best of games. That's a pen. Oh, Jensen, Jensen, Jensen. Two 0 before the break, maybe kind of Chaplin to take the penalty. Saved by Will Mannion. Top stop. That's a lovely ball by. To manage Carve and Sam Smith will equalise for us in the 85th minute. We do not deserve that, but it's a lovely ball by. Oh, never mind, it's been ruled out. Balls to manage Carve plays a beautiful pass, but Sam Smith is offside and it won't count. 
So we do not equalise in the 85th minute, we won't be taking its penalties, and we will be going out of the EFL Cup. Now they'll go and score a second, just to make sure. Yep, there you go. Keeper palms it straight to Connor Chaplin. 2-0 Ipswich! It could have been 1-1, it's not, it's 2-0. What? That got disallowed as well, what did that get disallowed for? It was offside, was it? Brilliant. I don't know how much attention I was paying. Uh, I'll just say... I don't like what I just saw from the team. Because I didn't. I mean, I know Ipswich are good, but still, we should have played better than we did. I'm going to need perhaps another loan or two. Thanks for the follow, Jonathan. Welcome to the channel, mate. So Oxford United starting line. They have Matty Taylor up top, Dion Charles in the midfield. Cameron Brannigan is still their captain. So a fairly sizable tie, Cambridge Oxford as well, because of the, the whole university and boat race thing. Come on, Shiloh. You need to get back and cover. To be fair, I think they might still be set to attack. Oh, Steve Reich from Matty Taylor. They lead by a goal to nil. And sometimes you just have to accept that they've scored a very good goal and there's not really much you can do about it. He's hit that very cleanly. Right into the corner. Takes a touch. Just lets fly. And Dimmy can't get down to it. Balls. You're not going to give a pen. <sighs> not sure about that. Not sure about that. 2-0 Oxford. Really not sure that that was a penalty, to be honest. But Matty Taylor has his an Oxford second. We are really on the back foot. Jack Lancaster's having a poor game on the left-hand side. This is not an ideal start to the season, is it really? No, no, no chance it's not. Ideal for Lancaster, I think. That's a nice ball. Jensen's in. That's got to be a foul. We have a pen of our own just five minutes after theirs. The route into the game might just be opening up Sam Smith to potentially score his first goal of the season, which indeed he does. We will encourage everyone and try and get back in this game. That's beautifully worked. Nibs is in. And we're level. This is what I love about this Cambridge side in game and in real life as well. The grit and determination to never give up. Well, I've never... I don't, I don't know if I've actually ever known anyone to use him. If Smith's on side here, which he is, we have turned around a 2-0 deficit and now lead at home against Oxford. I'll be honest... When we went 2-0 down from the spot, I didn't expect us to come back in the manner that we have. We may have signed to Menezhkov, but Nibs and Smith are quite the partnership. The two of them will hold down those starting spots if they're going to play like this continually moving forward. To Menezhkov is very good and is young and will grow spectacularly. But how can I justify not playing Smith and Nibs? When they play like that as a partnership, it's remarkable. We'll switch to cautious for the final couple of minutes. And we've started the season in remarkable fashion, provided we hold on to this. Thank you, Akash Nadu, for the 35th month, my man. It's very kind of you. Appreciate it. That was um, unexpected, but remarkable. Just that, And literally what I was saying just, how was a, just shows how determined a bunch we have here. That's what football is all about. So, crew, we've got Willie Askelainen in goal still. Mikhail Mandron up top would be dangerous. Luke Offord in the uh, defence is good as well. Tyrese Onyeka. Callum Ainley's half decent. Uh, say so carry on from the last performance. And remind me after this game to uh, change these to support permanently. Rather than doing it in game, so I forgot. You think the current squad is good enough to finish in the playoff spot, Alec? I don't think so. We finished 14th last year. And I'd probably go as far as to say the squad has improved since then, but not massively. I'd say we are, we are a slightly better squad now than we were when we first started the save, but we've not taken a massive jump. Thank you for the follow, FM player. Welcome to the channel, mate. Oh, it's a lovely three ball. Ah, Dimmy's giving it away. And then he's... 
It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary just pumping it like that. Like he's, he had options to play it to either side. Look at the runner on the right. There's Danny Rowe on his debut. Can he find an assist? Oh, what a save by Jaskolainen. I can't believe it. He nearly found an assist. Keepers, keepers kept a minute. Keepers won the game for them there. We've been good. Kept a lot of the ball. Had a lot of possession. Had a lot of shots. XG's just as good as theirs. Just didn't get the didn't get the rub of the green in front of goal. So I can't be too uh, I can't be too too frustrated. There sometimes the result doesn't go away your way, but I'm happy with the performance regardless. We were competitive there, and that's all we can ask for at this stage of the season. With a number of new players in the squad, it's going to take a while for everyone to gel. Louis Barry is up top for Derby County. Phil Jagielka is in their defence. And Curtis Davis. Bielik's still there. Tom Lawrence still there as well. Ravel Morrison they've signed. Or kept, actually. It was rumours of him leaving. A 40-year-old Phil Jagielka. 40-year-old Phil Jagielka. Played 28 games for Derby in the Championship last season. They got relegated, but he played really well, and he's still in their starting lineup. 40 years of age. It's going to take a while for everyone to bed in. We're looking to improve or add to the squad yet still, but someone that's staying is Sam Dam Smith. Whoa! What a goal! Here we go. Oh, Sam Smith, Wes and Big Joe. Sam Smith being the main one because Wes is retired and Joey Ironside doesn't play for us that much in this save. But oh my God, Sam Smith. Uh, he's a banger. Certified banger. Oh, Sam. You can't. Can't fail to work the keeper in situations like that. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Louis Barry doesn't miss too many chances like that. A gift. Again, as we could have scored at one end, we concede at the other. I was just about to make a change. Louis Barry again wins the header from the corner. We're behind now. I mean, he is so far offside. Louis Barry's just signed for Swindon today. On loan, presumably, Herminator. I mean, that's not even close, is it? Jesus Christ. About 100 yards offside. So unlucky. All right, Barnsley have got Chris Walton in goal. Corley Woodrow up top. Marlon Pack in the midfield is probably aging now, but still got some quality. Tony Civic on the bench. David Button as well as a goalkeeping option. Barnsley, big side for this level. And they've had a poor start to the season, so maybe we can prey on that. But we've not exactly had a, a, an amazing start ourselves, have we? They've picked up one win from the opening. Sorry, they've picked up two draws and a defeat from the opening three games. We've picked up a win and a draw. Sorry, a win and two defeats from... Let me start that again, shall I? Barnsley have drawn two, lost one. We've won one, lost two. There you go. I mean, Lloyd-Jones is just... Sam! Oh my god! Sam Smith, come on, mate! Come on, pal! What the hell? twice in this game and the derby game where he's been through like that and he's just blazed it over rather than at least working the goalkeeper no no pen oh who was it earlier that was saying there's not as many penalties this year as uh, have been in previous years we keep conceding him ah one nil barnsley thank you for the follow susu Lovely ball. You've got men in the middle. Tomaniskov! Our Bulgarian bagger gets one. 
We're level against Barnsley. Lovely ball by Will Fish out wide. Excellent vision. And then Tomenishkov just gets across the front of the defender. It's a brilliant whip by Shiloh Tracy and he's poked at home. Yes! Please no, lads. Please no. Go on, Tomenishkov. Get there. You've got Nibs in the middle. Come on, Harv. He's gone back to Tomenishkov. Back to the middle. You've got so many options. Lancaster, Shadow, Tracy! Yes! This team never give up! 2-0 down against Oxford. Give me a 3-2 win. 1-0 down against Barnsley. Give me a 2-1 win. Of the U's! United! 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 Lovely finish from Shiloh Tracy. A goal and an assist off the bench for him. He's going to get his starting spot back. Yay! Shorty boy with a seven months. Oh, hang on. Fuck. 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> oh, no! God damn it! Fucking typical. Absolutely typical. Absolutely typical. Pain? Deja vu. Deja vu. No spoilers. Deja vu. I'd have taken a point if you offered me it before the game. Big fish, will fish, cardboard box. Yes. <laughs> I love that. The Bristol Rovers in the Papa John's Trophy. They're actually bottom of League, league One at the minute. But... Uh, looking to play them in the cup at the moment. We will be. No, they got relegated. They got relegated. I think they're. I think they're bottom of League Two actually. Oh, what a double save! How was the keeper pulled off that second stop? That was outrageous. Just waiting for. The end of my sentence, which was just waiting for the killer through ball. There it was. Far from happy with that result, to be honest. <laughs> we were all over. They've not won a. They've not won a game all year. They've lost every single game they've played competitively so far, Bristol Rovers, and we hammered them for the first forty-five minutes. Couldn't find a way through. What's the betting now that I've offered him a contract? Now someone else will come in and offer him a contract. Four hours to go in transfer deadline day. I'm good, thank you, James. How are you, mate? I am a Cambridge fan, Jaden, yes. Apologies, I missed your question. Davenport is in. Jacob Davenport signs. That is a transfer that rushed signing. I just got an accomplishment because we signed him late in transfer deadline day. But that is a signing that could certainly... Bear fruit. Like, I mean, look at those mentals. Wow. Yes, please. All day long, straight in the starting lineup. Fully bottling things with Newcastle and you could cry. In what way are you fully bottling it, my man? They've got Tom Eves up top. He was released by Hull earlier in the save. It's a man mountain of a striker. They've got former Cambridge man Paul Lewis in the midfield as well. Matty Blair's pretty decent. Uh, Liam Sercombe on the bench. Former Cambridge player Leon Davis on the bench as well. If it's the same Leon Davis. Um, this is a match we should be winning though. So let's try and win it, shall we? Cheltenham was the last game of the league last year, wasn't it? And we won it by four goals to nil. So certainly I'd like to try and do the same again if we can. Oh! It was nearly a dream start. He hits it hard enough. He just didn't aim it very well. Digger. Davenport. Sam Smith's there. Back to Gaetan Bong. Lovely ball through. Sam Smith's there. Get there, Harvey. Oh, how? How? Honestly, man. How has he kept that out? Oh. That's two games in a row where a keeper's made a point-blank double save. Unbelievable. A nil-nil draw at home against Cheltenham after having 
close to 20 shots. Everybody was superb, though. So despite the result, trust the process. Trust the process. Everybody getting a 7 plus. To a man, everybody played out of their skin in that one. So we've only won one game so far this season. And that was when we went 2-0 down against Oxford and turned it around. But crew away is a tough game. Derby is obviously Derby. Barnsley we did well in and could have got the victory. Bristol Rovers we were really strong against and could have got the victory. And Cheltenham we were really strong against and could have got the victory. So the squad now is, I'd say, in a better place than it was at the end of last season. We've moved out some Deadwood that isn't good enough. We've brought in some young, good quality talent that is only going to get better. Jacob Davenport, Will Fish. Tarek hopefully will grow a little bit, but he's just going to be a good squad player. Danny Rowe is the experienced man that is hopefully going to add a little bit of quality, although he hasn't really hit the ground running. Temenjkov is going to be superb. Albeit he, he too hasn't necessarily hit the ground running yet. But with other players that we already had at the club that have quality in their younger years, like Jack Lancaster, like Okadina. Lloyd-Jones isn't that old, is he? 26. Shiloh Tracy's okay. Sam Smith's only 24. Harvey's only 23. The goals haven't started flowing yet, but the chances have been there and it just hasn't quite come together for us. So over the next few games, I really do genuinely feel like it will do. And this side is hopefully going to comfortably stay up again and fingers crossed, challenge for a top half finish. That would be the dream. And that's what I genuinely think that we're capable of doing. That will bring this YouTube video to a close, though, for now. Thank you very much for watching over on Ch the Chesno Place channel. Please do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and make sure you're following this channel, subscribing to the Chesno Place channel on YouTube and coming across and following me on, twi on, well, on Twitter and Twitch as well. It'd be great to see you over there for the, for the live streams themselves. You'll be seeing this over the weekend, probably. Uh, and I'll next be live, I imagine, Monday. So for now, that's all for this particular stream. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it very much, those of you on YouTube, and I will see you next time.